Get me that signal. We need more power. And I'm talking to Steve Zimmerman and Richard Blakesman <laughs> from Think Inc. and the Wine Company about the new 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Remote. There we go. Look right at there. there. Oh, there we go. Now, last year I got to see the 11th Doctor. Tell me about this 10th Doctor. Well, the 10th Doctor, uh, obviously David Tennant. Yes. Um, and so we realized that you know he's a fairly popular Doctor, and the screwdriver is something that's well worth having. And the Wand Company guys, and <laughs> who never fail to uh, you know do, uh, create amazing things. Uh, we were able to borrow the last remaining prop replica from Mr. David Tennant, yeah. the screen use prop replica. So you borrowed it from Scan David it. himself? Yes, yeah. from David That's himself. very cool. The last one. Scanned it down to pretty much perfect detail. In fact, that when it comes out, the crackle on here will match exactly the crackle on his piece as well. Really? Which is how intricate it was. And then Richard will tell you that it, it bothers him. But this thing is so accurate, the fact that it is. The only thing that's not accurate about it is the fact that it's five grams, grams lighter than the original. And well, I know that drives the engineer <laughs> in the nuts. And that's fine. But everybody else, for everybody else and for every intent and purposes, this is the exact piece that David Tennant was using when he was playing the doctor. Very sweet. Now, Richard, you want to tell me more about it? So it's a universal remote control as well as a lovely replica. So it'll control your TV, your Blu-ray player, your set-top box. Um, and it has it works with different gestures, so you've got 13 different movements. You give it a little flick left, right, up, down, forward, backward. That just make it make some noises. And, uh, oh, I can hear it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It also has um, a sound effects mode where it won't control anything. It'll just... Um, just make sound effects so you can wave it around. So. <laughs> Which is perfect for Unlike cosplayers, and, yeah. uh, cosplayers, people doing costumes, and what he's, the sound effects themselves are all archived official sounds from the show dating back to the beginning all the way through now? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, um, And they're all, this time, they're all actual Sonic Screwdriver sounds. So this was uh, in the Sea Devils episode where he was scanning on the minefield. Um, uh, which one is it? There's a... Uh, uh -huh. This was when David Tennant was in that uh, cathedral looking for the um, Lazarus experiment guy. It's um, <laughs> great. Uh, yeah. These are actually from the BBC, the sound effects, right? Yeah, well, the, the, um, there's a guy called Paul Jeffries who's, who's done the sound effects all the way through from Eccleston to now. He's still, still really? doing sound effects. And, oh, my God. And he's just a nice guy who's got all the archives. He's, he, he makes sounds now. Um, and, yeah, so he just gave us, we sort of phoned him up and said, you know, can you send us some sounds? And he said, yeah, sure. So, uh, Oh, that's that's excellent. Now, is is it out yet? This is coming out in October. So this, is, this October. is the first prototype. This one actually, the, the finish on this is painted by um, hand painted by Nick Rabasso himself, the guy that makes the props for the show. Um, but we're replicating the exact finish that we had on the on David Tennant's one for the full production version. That so it will look, it'll look like this, just with a very slightly different pattern. Apparently. Does it have the secret message and Morse code? Like it does have one? Morse code secret messages in it again, like last time. Um, and we've, we're still working on the on the final details of the software. We may chuck in a couple of other Easter eggs as well. So oh, very nice. We'll, uh, see how very nice. Now, if people can use this to control basically any electronic infrared device. Yeah, anything that uses a regular infrared remote control, yeah. So your, your TV, most things in your, in your living room, but uh, if you happen to have an, I've, I've got infrared control lights in my living room at home so I can turn the lights on and off. Oh, that'd that kind be of great. Thing, so it's quite good or if you have a TARDIS sitting around. If you have a TARDIS sitting around. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, you can, you can buy a TARDIS uh, Bluetooth uh, speaker now, which is quite a remote control, so I've got the laser in there. Really? My wife is um, getting a little bit tired of the uh, number of science screwdrivers. <laughs> Now, aren't you guys also showing a uh, super deluxe uh, yes. gold and silver plated? Yeah. Look at that one. Yeah, so this is a strictly limited edition, 250 units made worldwide. Um, and it's yeah, gold and silver plated version of the Matt Smith 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Comes in this nice box at the back there with a the hand painted stand. Uh, they're individually laser numbered. Only 250 of them. 250 in the world ever, so yeah. Uh, half of them are in, in Comic Con today. Well, they were. Right. <laughs> There's uh, 125 left. <laughs> and, uh, that will be for order. 
fits in it. It's supposed to play in high I love you got the, now we have the blueprint, same blueprint set up with uh, the tent back on as well. Yeah, we've actually gone slightly different, so we've gone for a, um, we've gone for an x-ray rather than the blueprint this time, so. Uh, oh, well that looks neat. Oh, look at that. And again, we've got details of the products in terms of like the, uh, the chemical formula of the materials used inside it and, uh, and in the US, some, some, very some geeky cool. stuff in there, so. Uh, is this the whole package here? Yeah, so it comes with this um, this nice hard case. Uh, this is a prototype of the lining, so we have a, a soft, soft foam lining. Oh, yeah, I use anything like that, yeah. And it comes with this magnetic stand that extends up underneath. So, if anyone can actually sit it up on the stand, uh, there's a specific ring, and it just, it'll sit perfectly. <laughs> that is cool! It's a magnetic? In one spot, yes. Sweet! <laughs> Very nice. So you won't. Have, yeah, you'll have some place to put your remote. Exactly. You won't have any problem finding. Not a not a problem at all. You'll never get lost, and it'll be perfectly displayed for when you have people over. That is neat. Everyone benefits from it. Very good. I guess it doesn't come with David Tennant's glasses there. Is. No. <laughs> uh, Steve, Richard, uh, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes out to talk to me here. Our pleasure. And uh, good luck. No problem. If people are interested, we will actually we have the product page up on our site now, and you can sign up for an email. Once we have it in stock, we'll let you know. That's thinkgeek.com. Think Excellent. Richard. Thank you. Thank you.